When fire danger is high, they have to be smart with how they use their resources, and they're hopeful that these cameras could give them information to help make those decisions. A view from above gives a sense of the unique and far-reaching land the Washington Department of Natural Resources oversees. They're studying how well more eyes overhead in camera form could help them tackle the task. We've been seeing quite a bit, actually. We get alerts. Uh, probably five, six a day from different cameras that we've already got up and running. I have an alert and I check on it. Angie Lane works in DNR's wildfire division. She receives each snapshot from above. An artificial intelligence tool has been trained with images of clear skies and of smoky ones and sends alerts when it spots a problem. We would check out the map that they send with the detection. Lane can use remote controlled features to move a camera and examine the area so crews can approach it more safely. You can tell by color of smoke and how the smoke is moving it, figure out the direction of the fire, things like that. So all of that early information, early detection is only going to keep communities safer and firefighters safer. Creators with Pano AI say the cameras have been deployed by landowners in Oregon, Colorado and California, but Washington's Department of Natural Resources is the first government agency to launch them across the state. When we started researching this industry, we were shocked to learn that we had better technology in our smart home appliances, in our Alexa, in our home security cameras, in our doorbells than firefighters had at their disposal. In Washington, most cameras will be installed on T-Mobile towers using 5G to send images and receive commands. We talk a lot about getting the information and data to our firefighters. In a formal launch this September, the state announced nine cameras have been deployed, with 12 more to be installed by this summer in areas ranging from Ellensburg to Devil's Mountain. The price tag runs around $45,000 per camera per year, in this case funded through House Bill 1168. This is a new project, so we'll find out the benefits. In some cases, the cameras have captured fires growing soon after they spark, giving DNR and other agencies a head start. At this point, this is still a pilot program. They're learning how they might use this information and if they could expand it across more of the state. Reporting from Ellensburg, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.